All the shots have been fired, all the finish lines crossed, and all the globes awarded. The 2019-20 IBU Cup season has come to an end, and it is time to look back and see who made a mark on these three months of biathlon action. The women competitions were dominated by the Russians for most of the season, with Ekaterina Glazirina leading the total score after IBU Cup 4 in Bresno Osrbli. But below her, Elisabeth Hoegberg was quickly climbing up the standings. Despite a short spell in the World Cup and having missed some competitions because of illness, the Swede was back in the race for the total score thanks to two wins in a row in Marten. This was followed by one gold and one bronze in the European Championships, and Hugberg entered the final IBU Cup in Minsk Raubishi, seven points ahead of Glazirina. Here, a dominating win in the first sprint and a sixth position in the second gave the Swede a comfortable 28-point lead over the Russian. And despite an 11th position in the Mass Start 60, Hergberg finished the season winning not only the sprint and pursuit scores, but also the big glow. I haven't been feeling good in my body, but I can see I ski okay, so uh, that have been <laughs> good for me to, to do the result. This is really good, so I'm, I'm happy with this and I will work on my weak points and uh, come back stronger next year. The final Master of 60 was claimed by Stephanie Scherer, who was the season's revelation. The young German kicked off her season with a comfortable win in the short individual in Obertiliak before claiming a single mixed relay, two second places and four top sixes. And in her second ever senior season, Scherer took home the individual globe. My season was really great. I didn't expect any races and any results of this season and so I'm really happy. Having finished second in the previous season's total score, Lukas Fratscher started strongly with one win and two third places in Shushan as he took an early lead in the battle for the men's globe. But as the German traveled briefly to the World Cup, Endre Strömsheim overtook him thanks to two wins in Bresno Osserbli. Competition after competition, Fratscher fought his way back as he closed the gap on the Norwegian. And the sprint in the Open European Championships was the turning point. There, Fratscher claimed a 10th position and Strömsheim crumbled, finishing 61st and failing to qualify for the next day's pursuit. In that competition, a 37th place for the German was enough to see him return to the top of the standings. But in the season's final Master at 60 in Minsk Raubishi, Fratscher almost completely lost his 13-point lead over Strömsheim. Collecting four penalties, he finished 13th, while the Norwegian claimed the fifth spot. But this was just enough for Fratscher to finish a single point ahead of Strömsheim in the total score and claim his first ever big glow. Winning the total score means a lot for me. For the moment it's a little bit strange. I was nervous since days because it was pretty close with Andre Strömsheim. I could also be in his position and he could win. He also deserved it. At the end, it's one point, I don't know, it's one point, and it's like nothing. With Hoegberg and Fratscher keeping the suspense alive until the very last competition, this IBU Cup season was full of excitement and surprises, and showed that biathlon is as much about big wins as it is about the smallest margins. <laughs>